there. Welcome back to Belton's Backyard Buddies. I'm your host, Jenna Chapel. Today we'll be talking about ants. Ants are probably pretty familiar to you. You probably see them in your backyard all the time. Ants are insects. Remember what an insect is? An insect has six legs, three body parts, and sometimes they have wings. Ants are social creatures, so they live in colonies or families, just like the bees. There are over 12,000 different species of ants worldwide, which is crazy. Mostly, we see fire ants here, but we'll talk about them later. So, they live in colonies or families. They have a queen, just one queen usually, and she's the mama of the group, just like the bees. She gives birth to every single ant in the colony. Over her lifetime, she can give birth to millions of eggs. So, ants have a complete life cycle. They start with the mama queen laying these eggs. So those are the babies developing in here. Then they develop into the larvae. Now the larvae are the kids of the family. And lots of people tend to the larvae. They feed them and stuff. Then it develops into the pupa. The pupa case is what you see around here. It's kind of like the room that the teenager stays in. They don't ever come out until they develop into an adult. Now, when the adult develops, they come out and someone in the colony gives them a job. So every ant in the colony has a different job. So, so let's talk about some fun facts about ants. Well, one, they form super colonies. What does that mean exactly? Well, it means many colonies interconnect to make one large colony. So that means one colony branches out, finds another colony, connects to it, then that one does the same thing and the same thing and the same thing. Some of these get so big that there's over 300 million individuals. So big of a family. Right now, in California, we have a big super colony of Argentine ants, and it spans about three-fourths of the state right now, and California is huge. Other than that, some cool facts about ants, they can lift up to 50 times their own weight, so they're like Superman. They have super strength, which is really cool. Also, they're scavengers, so they eat all kinds of different stuff. They may come across some sugar or that pretzel that you dropped from your snack. Or maybe an insect that has sadly perished and they eat him. Or they even eat each other, which is crazy to me. Also, they're really funny in that they are farmers. So you know what a farmer does, right? Sometimes they have livestock. And a livestock like a cow, we get milk from a cow. So the farmer milks the cow and we drink milk. Well, ants keep aphids like cows, and they milk the aphid, and they get honeydew. Isn't that funny? Seems so smart, right? Next, let's talk about a few characteristics of ants. So I have a little model here. So since ants don't have a nose like we do, they smell with their antennae, like right here. Also, they don't have ears, so they feel the vibrations of the ground and that's how they hear what's going on around them. They also have compound eyes, unlike ours that are simple eyes that, that merge into one image, they have multiple images right here. And they have mandibles, which is their mouthpiece, and these pinch, they hurt, so no touchies. Next, we're gonna go find ourselves an ant mount. It's probably gonna be fire ants because we have a ton of those in, in Texas. But let's go find one of those and see what we can get. Now remember, ants live in colonies. This is a good example of a ground-dwelling colony. What we see on top of the grass is called a mount. Now underneath what we don't see, they're digging tunnels. Now these connect different mounts. Like we talked about super colonies before, these may be just one colony, but they may have multiple mounts that are connected by tunnels. Some of these can even connect across state lines. What we're most likely seeing here are fire ants. Now, fire ants are non-native to Texas. Now, they 
they immigrated from South America, and they've been slowly replacing our native ants. Now, if you disturb a nest, like we did, then they will swarm. And when they swarm, they give off an alarm chemical. And basically they're saying, the predators are coming, the predators are coming. And so they notify all their other ant little friends and they swarm to try to get the predator to go away. So when the nest is threatened, the ants will latch on to whatever is touching that nest. And fire ants are venomous and they hurt when they sting. So no touchies. If you see a group of ants floating in the water, these are called rafts. Individual ants will connect to each other and float on the water for several days until they find something they can climb up on. That could even include you. So don't get anywhere near it. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Belton's Backyard Buddies. We'll see you next time.